Vikings are soon to return to our screens. After the final season of the historical drama Vikings in 2019, Netflix had announced that a spin-off was on its way. Vikings Valhalla is that very same spin-off that we have all been waiting for. Recently, Netflix released some significant information about this upcoming show. So hold on tight and keep watching because we have a lot to know and discuss. Let's get started. So when is Vikings Valhalla coming out? The spin-off of the famous series Vikings. Vikings is set to release on the 25th of February 2022, with all the other amazing Netflix shows also releasing in the same month. It's like a fresh breeze for all the Vikings fans. <sighs> After all, we have waited for long enough, no? The production of Vikings Valhalla had started back in the first months of 2020. However, like everything else, I roll, the pandemic managed to halt this whole process. Fortunately, the production resumed in July 2020, and last month, November 2021, the filming was completed. Completed. The show was originally expected to be completed by October 2020. However, the restrictions due to the COVID-19 ended up delaying the process. I roll again. There even came a time when reportedly a dozen of the crew members were tested positive, due to which the production had to be stopped. However, later it was confirmed that the reports were false. Anyways, the production team and actors worked hard and were just happy that it's now complete. And we'll get to watch it very soon. What about the cast of Vikings Valhalla? The main cast of Vikings Valhalla. Valhalla was revealed in January 2021. Netflix also described the roles these actors would play. This main cast includes Sam Corlett, Asleep Erickson, a Greenlander who comes from a tightly knitted family. Leif is a physically tough sailor who will also become the past to her entry into the world of Vikings. Leo Suter will be playing Harold Sigerson's role, a Viking noble and one of the few remaining Viking berserkers. He's handsome and charismatic and has united Christians and Odin followers. We can say that he has a beautiful brain along with his perfect looks. Freda Gustafson will play as Freydis Eriksson, a headstrong and fiery Viking woman who believes in the old gods. She's a sister of Leif Eriksson, and just like him, she's also an outsider, but soon becomes an inspiration. Johannes Hawker Johannesson will take over the role of Olaf Haraldsson. He's the older half-brother of Harald Sigurdsson. Physically, Olaf is huge, tough, and is one of those unforgiving Vikings that we're all, well, scared of. Typical Viking. Bradley Freegard will play as King Canute, King of Denmark, a wise and savvy leader for the Vikings who keeps his friends close but the enemies closer. Laura Berlin will take up the role of Emma of Normandy, a young, beautiful, and ambitious woman of Viking blood. She's also the wealthiest woman of Europe and probably Rolos, a character from the original Viking series, descendant. There's more. Caroline Henderson will appear as Jarl Hakon, a great ruler of Kattegat. David Oakes will be seen as Earl Godwin, the chief counselor of England's king. At the same time, Polina McIntosh will take up the role of Queen Elgifu, an ambitious queen of Denmark who has a major impact on political matters. Will anyone from the original Viking series join Vikings Valhalla? Yes! We'll get to see some familiar faces again in this upcoming show. The first actor who will reprise his role in the spin-off is John Cavanaugh. He appeared as the Ancient Seer in all six seasons of the original Viking series. The Ancient Seer also appeared in the visions of several characters from the original series series, which is why we think he'll be appearing in Visions in Viking Valhalla as well. Other returning actors include Bosco Hogan, Gavin O'Connor Duffy, and Karen Connell. Karen will reprise the same role as the Angel of Death, while Hogan and Duffy will appear in completely different roles. How will Vikings Valhalla connect with its predecessor, Vikings? It's for sure that almost all the mortal characters from Vikings will be dead and won't be a part of this spinoff, but it doesn't mean that the previous storyline and the likes of Jorn, Lagertha, I've and Ragnar wouldn't have any impact on Valhalla. If you recall, legacy was something extremely important in the original series, so we should expect a major impact of the past incidents and adventures on this spin-off. There's a possibility that the bloodline will also continue. For example, remember Rolo from the original series, who turned his back on his people to get the throne of Normandy? Well, his great-great-grandson, William the Conqueror, will play a significant role in the upcoming series. Other than this, in the final seasons of Vikings, we watch who, the third son of Ragnar, land in North America, so this detail can also lead to a major connection between both shows. Another major component that can work as a connecting string
entering is the coastal town of Kattegat. This was the town where we met Ragnar for the first time, and is going to be a major part of Valhalla's plot as well, as it'll be showcased as one of the largest ports of Europe. What's the plot of Vikings Valhalla? Being a spin-off of Vikings doesn't mean that Valhalla will also take the fans back to the beginning when the Viking Age began. Vikings Valhalla is set almost 100 years after the original series. The story will explore the incidents that led to the end of the Viking Age. Not just that, fans will get to witness the adventures of legendary Vikings such as Freydis Eriksdottir, Leif Eriksson, Harald Hardrada, and Eric the Red. The plot is more about the struggles Vikings face in order to adjust to the rapidly evolving world. Not just that, we'll also witness conflicts and bloodshed by the middle of the show. The conflict of faith and the war between paganism and Christianity that started in the original series will continue in Valhalla as well. The show will showcase the widespread of Christianity throughout the Scandinavian territories, putting the Vikings into a very defensive position. In an interview, screenwriter Michael Hurst revealed that one of the biggest issues of the plot will be the Christianization of the pagan world. He added that fans would witness pagan Vikings fighting against Christian Vikings, which is quite interesting. We agree with Hurst over this one because it's not every day that you can see Vikings fighting against Vikings over their faiths. How many episodes will Vikings Valhalla have? The series is set to have 24 episodes, which is quite a large number of episodes for a Netflix series. Usually, the Netflix series has 8 to 16 episodes, but it's good that we'll get to watch more. Even though the number of episodes was confirmed a year before the completion of filming, there hasn't been any news regarding the names or descriptions of these episodes. It is, however, confirmed that the first 8 episodes will come our way together on the 25th of February. Will there be more seasons of Vikings Valhalla? Season 1 of Vikings Valhalla is yet to be released, but fans are already excited about more seasons. The first look of Vikings Valhalla, along with behind the scenes, were revealed in September 2021. Looking at the time when production started, the filming for Season 1 wrapped up quickly. Now, there are two possibilities. Either the show will have three seasons with different numbers of episodes, or the 24 episodes that have been confirmed are the ones that will be released in portions. Looks like the three seasons will have eight episodes each, which seems quite reasonable to us. If we talk about Season 2 of the show, the present information suggests that the filming for Season 2 is also complete, and that the production team is now working on Season 3 of the upcoming show. Looking back at the original series, you must remember that all six seasons were released with a very small waiting window between them. This gives us reason to believe that while Season 1 will be aired in February, we'll get to watch Season 2 by mid-2022. However, nothing has been confirmed about the next two seasons yet. All we can do is wait and watch what happens. Where to watch the original series, Vikings. Now that a spinoff is coming, most of you want to rewatch the original series. I mean, I do. You can binge watch all the six seasons of Vikings on Netflix. The show wasn't available on Netflix earlier. However, luckily, Netflix decided to pick up this popular show. Yes. A major reason for Netflix picking up the show can be the spinoff. However, it's not always necessary for Netflix to stream original shows because of a spinoff. So there have been other reasons, such as the worldwide popularity of the show. I mean, they got my dollar. Other than Netflix, you can also watch all seasons on Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, and Peacock Prime. We think it's the best time to rewatch the series because there's still some time in the release of Vikings Valhalla. Now that Vikings are returning to our screens very soon, all of us Viking fans will have something to look forward to. We hope this spinoff will be as good as the original. With this, we'll be signing off with the hope of returning with some more updates and news. Till then, take care. Skull!